Hi, in this video, let's have a look at Gmail Ads, at its advanced targeting options and highly engaging native ad formats. So here we see ad solutions map. There are various objectives that you can have for your marketing campaigns. And Gmail can help you with many of those. For example, if you are looking to build awareness, we recommend you create custom HTML creative with video, image or catalog with video. You could target affinity or demographic targeting and bid maximizing clicks or using max CPC and look into impressions or uses reach as well as CPM. Now, if you are looking to generate leads and drive signups, you could use image catalog or HTML creative with form that users could fill in. We also recommend you enable call extension. Targeting here could be similar audiences for your potential customers, in-market audiences or keywords and domains. Bidding, we recommend target CPA and enhance CPC. Key metrics to look at would be CPA and qualify leads and calls. Now for drive app installs, campaigns, we recommend using universal app campaigns. And lastly, if you are looking to drive sales or booking, you could use catalog image. Targeting could be in market, customer match or similar audiences, as well as keyword or domain. Recommended bids, again, target CPA, enhanced CPC, and key metrics to look at, CPA and ROAS. Gmail ads are highly effective for four reasons. They are easy to use. You can run them alongside other display campaigns. The reach is huge. You can engage with over 1 billion users across all devices globally each month. Campaigns are effective due to variety of targeting choices. And it's rather insightful because you can have a look at various interaction metrics. Let's see how Gmail ads can help you reach the right customer. Keep in mind that ad is focused on an audience, not on the current email that's being read and opened. So available targeting options are customer match or similar audiences, device your customer is using, topic, affinity targeting, language, gender, keyword or domain that user has been seeing in the email, geographic location, as well as age. We recommend that you optimize for a specific profile by using a single targeting type. I could also create multiple ad groups to reach even more potential customers. Let's see how you can unlock the power of your customer data. We have Customer Match. That is a product that can help you boost your Gmail ads even more. There are three strategies you could use. Target customers that you already know, or you can actually exclude current customers to only reach new ones, or you reach users similar to your customers. Let's have a look how that works. It's because of Customer Match. It works for various uh, Google AdWords solutions. In regards to Gmail, what it does for you. First, you would need to upload first-party data in AdWords as an audience list. Again, you can include both gmail.com as well as non-gmail.com addresses. AdWords matches your email addresses to Google accounts. Then you are free to delete the list. You can create campaigns targeting or excluding the new audience list across devices and channels. It would work for Search, Gmail, and YouTube. And AdWords would also generate similar audience lists from original email list when eligible. Again, keep in mind that for Gmail, only gmail.com matched accounts are targetable. However, if you are looking to use this targeting option for TrueView search, or search campaigns, that would work as well. Looking at the time, how customers are using various devices can be a very insightful information to have. 
looking at this data, we see that desktop peaks during the workday. That's a blue line. Mobile peaks during commutes and lunch breaks and tablet peaks in the evening. So we would recommend that you adjust the targeting of your campaigns, keep keeping in mind the timing when your ads are being shown. You could also optimize automatically, that is using conversion optimizer, which helps you manage costs towards target CPA and aggressive targeting to expand reach to similar users to those you are targeting. Keep in mind that conversion optimizer needs a, a bit of period to learn what audiences to expand to, and this time uh, will depend on volume of data coming in. We recommend that you don't make any changes to targeting, as well as that could impact the tool's learning. Now, it will also respect exclusions, so you don't need to worry about showing to users you have explicitly filtered out. Targeting tools, they work around the clock, optimizers learning and adjusting to maximize performance all the time. Some examples, how collapsed ad looks in practice. So it is uh, displayed in promotions tab. If user has that activated, we can see how it looks on desktop, tablet, and mobile device. Once user have clicked on the ad, it expands. It opens in the email pane and has 100% share of voice. Again, the example right in front of you, desktop, tablet, and mobile device. Few examples of uh, creatives by marketing objective. As you will see, if you want to grow loyalty, you could include call to action. In this case, we have email signups, build awareness objective. It's more focused on branding, on visual representation. Driving online sales, very clear offer and easy button for call to action. Influencing consideration gives a little bit more information what it is. And again, you can already enter your information and get started. 